the question of a billion, that question about Shakespeare with the billion monkeys. Right. And I already told you that. I think they had a chance. Uh, Look, can I answer that question? Look, the point here is this. Yes, there is can a chance. Can I just underline Math that? Ma mathematically, there is a... No, no, he's yeah, right. Yeah, mathematically, yeah, 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 yeah. there is a chance. You're right. You're, you're, you're right that randomly things could occur and seem like they're completely organised. You're absolutely right. The problem is this, though. The alternative is that it's not random. And the, the probability of it being random is infinitesimally small. And therefore, the probability of it not being random is infinitesimally large. So give me an example. Right? Now, now, the, now, 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 the point here is this, right? Human beings, in everything that we do, everything that we believe, whether it's a TV to buy or which camera or what phone, we generally base our opinions upon balance of probability. That's the reality that we, that we find ourselves in, right? So if 9,999 people say this phone is the best phone that you can buy and you have one guy, I'm not talking about 9,000, let's say 999,999,000 say this phone is perfect, the best phone that's ever been made. And you've got one six-year-old who says, I don't like the color, <laughs> right? Who are you going to listen to? <laughs> Clearly not the six-year-old, right? Yeah. Right, because why? why would you do that? You would do that because you see on balance of probabilities, highly, highly unlikely that that six-year-old is worth listening to because the probability of that six-year-old being right Very to the 999,999,999 is ridiculous, right? Yeah. Now, the, the cause of the universe, the, the fine-tuning of the universe... Fine-tuning, could you expand on that? Okay, the perimeters that are set in terms of gravity, the cosmological constant, uh, you know... The laws uh, we, we the, see in nature. The, the, the laws we see in nature, right? If they were out by one atom in the entire known universe, one electron, life wouldn't be the way it is. We wouldn't, we wouldn't exist. Really? I mean, I'm not a yeah. scientist. No, no, I'm, I'm giving you the statistics, right? Can I give you a working example? No, go, 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 go ahead, yeah. <laughs> okay, so the way the universe is and the way it could have... Could okay. It being the way it is now random. Now listen to this uh, probability. If I said to you, we take a subatomic particle and we paint it blue. Paint it blue. We paint it blue. Right? And then we blindfold you. And then we give you the power to go anywhere in the universe to search for this subatomic particle. Blue one. Uh, the blue one. Whilst blindfolded. Right? And we give you, you go anywhere in the known universe to search for this um, blue particle. The chances of you finding that blue particle are 10 billion times more likely than the universe ending up the way it is by gravity. Is it like, yeah. in, obviously you said it, but like, is it, how, yeah. how do I know what you said is true? No, right, you can verify that Go and verify you know, it. I'm not going to tell you all the information here. This is, this is a learning process. This is something to reflect upon. I'll give you an example. If you were to put zero, the, 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 the probability, you know when you write zero after a word? So if you like write a thousand, you write a one and three zeros, and a million, one and six zeros. All right, if you were to write that's this, his, that's his bank balance this probability, if you were to write this probability with a one and then zeros, yeah, you would need more zero, zeros than there are particles in the universe. Okay. That is the probability. So you basically just say it's very unlikely. No, very, it's, it's, very, not, very it, it's absurd. It's absurd to take but that position. that's just you bringing your own No, well, the problem is this, you see. If this was a matter other than God, science would be settled on the matter. Because it's just so absurd to, to consider that you're 10 billion times more likely to find an atomic particle whilst blindfolded somewhere in the universe. Who came up with this figure? What's that? This whole like. This is, this, is, this is mainstream science. So, the, so you, you would need you more zeros up. than you could no. fill in the entire universe. That's the sort of statistics that we're talking about. I'm going to recommend about. a book to you. It's called The God Hypothesis Return by Stephen May. Right? It's written by a Christian guy. Now we're Muslims, but I don't mind if Christians wrote it. Okay. And it goes through the history of science. In science with Newton and going all the way through to Einstein and trying to understand origination. And what's being found out is, you know, uh, atheists have this kind of claim that, oh, in a thousand years' time we'll, we'll, we'll know and we'll prove how everything happened. It's the reverse is happening. If you follow the, if you follow the yellow brick road to Oz, right, what you'll see is that the more we discover, the more astounding things become. The more we discover, the more things don't make sense. So, for example, science kind of explain how carbon is formed. You can say it's formed inside of a star. 
Well, it's the chemical. How, how did the lighter element go from beryllium and helium to become carbon? They don't know. Okay. In biology, you've got natural selection, which is supposed to be the uh, the driving force. Uh, I, 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 He's not I, really I, I like, into I, science. I, 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 I respect what you say. No, no, but what I'm doing, I'm supporting the three claims I made with regards to sciences. So in biology, for example, evolution through natural selection is Charles Darwin's view. This is a neo, this is a neo atheist viewpoint, and random mutate. Now, to have natural selection, to have new genetic code, you need to create these new. Proton, protein, it's a new protein. And, and That's what DNA is, it's self replicating No, no, it doesn't self replicate right? It literally... No, no, it has to change, it has to be different, it has to be extra from what it was, okay. And so the explanation in science is random mutation. So there's a random mutation, and what happens is, in, on, one, on some occasions, useful random, it's random, it's useful mutation, which will then be harnessed by natural selection, which will then be utilized in the evolution process. But the uh, random mutation is the Position. That's a presupposition. The random mutation has to be a thing for everything else to occur. When you look at the probabilities of, how the but I would sometimes actually view. No, you can't. It's not you, you can say what you like. It doesn't matter. You can say what you. Like. I'm quoting what scientists are saying. You're taking giving your own thought. Who said you can see random mutation? I mean, we're seeing it right now with all where, these where corona, with these COVID have variations. Have you observed it? Okay, I haven't observed you it. You haven't observed it. So how do you know it's random? But I'm sure, you know, some, in some well, lab you know, said I'm sure, so you don't know. there's a scientist who's looking down. I know, and this is what you call faith in scientism. I get it, I get it, I understand. Because if you're not a believer in a creator, you're not a believer in God, you have to hold on to something. And you'll hold on to these men who keep saying things and then having to correct themselves when they discover new information that they're wrong and they keep correcting themselves. And if you follow the history of science, you'll realize it's right, all... Look, I never said that science is truth, you know. Science is only... I, I agree no, that no, science no, but, is only true but, no, but what I'm saying to his hypothesis, No, no, but right? what did I say to you? I asked you, what do you use to, to understand truth? He said science, and I'm saying... And philosophy. Well, this is philosophy. I know. All right. So, what is philosophy? Study of mind, yeah? Okay. So, basically, we have um, science, which is your method of understanding things, leading to this intelligent mind. Unless you want to take these absurd probabilities as facts, which they're not. And, and the point here is I this. I don't really see how me saying that DNA randomly mutates is an absurd... But in reality... No, 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 no. It's not, it's not saying... D it's, look. It's not saying that the DNA around in mutating is absurd. It's, what's absurd is the probability that that mutation is something positive. What, what, what do you mean by positive? That it's beneficial that natural selection could then utilize to make into some new organism. That is beneficial, but I'm not talking about beneficial. I think we're getting bogged not. down no, no, into DNA. No, 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 he, no. he doesn't understand the, yeah, the, the science I, behind I'm it. Not a no, 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 uh, so no, but you, no, no. You understand that? I understand that. So I'm not going to be too heavy on it. But what I'm saying is, what you're, what you're saying is, I'm sure DNA randomly takes. But you're not sure. Because I'm telling you you're wrong with regards to that. Because the, that's what I'm saying to you. For, for it to random mutate to create a protein that is, that is useful, that natural selection can then utilize to become a new uh, organism, yeah? the probability is so absurd to even consider it is a bit absurd. But the problem you've got is because what That's not too sure about that. No, I know. So, what I want you to do, this is EF Tower. Yeah, this is our channel, Marshall. I want you to watch the video. And I want you to see what's been said to because here's the thing, if I'm right... So you're saying that DNA does not self-replicate, and when it does self-replicate, at all... No, I, I, what I said to you, for DNA to... to for... for uh, so you agree it mutates? It can mutate. Yeah, sure, and how does it... What's no, the process no, but that, of it... No. But what's the process of it mutating? Tell me, please. What do you mean? What's the process of DNA mutating? Okay, me personally, I don't believe in that. Okay. I, I believe in a creator. I believe in an intelligent design. I don't believe information can be created from other than an intelligent agency. I just don't believe it. You can tell me that DNA containing all that information about what color eyes I'm going to have and all this. What cancer. does intelligent mean, though? When you say you, you don't believe anything comes out other than theory. what do you think intelligent means? I'm not sure. You're the one who said well, it. Well, do you understand the word intelligent? Okay. Do I have to Google the word intelligent for you to understand it? But I want to know in what context you're using it. Well, what context can you use it? In a lot of different contexts. Give me an example. You're being a bit annoying right now. I'm sorry. Because you've got, okay, so give me two examples where you can use the word intelligent differently. Intelli um, uh, I feel like we're getting away from the point. No, you just said, uh, what context am I using the word intelligent? I said there's only one context you can use the word intelligent. Just demonstrate that I'm wrong. Just give me two ways you can use the word intelligent. But I think intelligent can only mean one thing. Where well, something's... 
maybe I'll, maybe that's something I'll come back to you next time. Yeah, you'll probably come back and say I was wrong about that thing. Perhaps. Yeah. So, because sometimes what happens in this kind of environment, you feel you have to say things to try and, you know. No, honestly, I'm I'm just here to genuinely search right. the truth. Right. I feel right. like you're being the more aggressive one here. If I'm being completely honest. Yeah. <laughs> okay. My, my, so, <laughs> so, so, you say this doesn't make sense. So, 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 so you, well, my, my point to you. you can have good my, my point to you is I'm this. Check your notes. I, I, I okay. Don't mind. My, my my point to you is this, right? That whenever we do something that's incredibly complex, we automatically, intuitively 